Hello everyone, happy Thursday and welcome to tonight's stream where we are jumping back into the absolute chaos of RimWorld with a new playthrough in the new DLC that released today, uh, which is a horror themed, um, a horror themed pack adding a whole bunch of stuff. And I linked it in the description, but I'm actually gonna read you guys the store page because I feel like that's the only way to really grasp and, and express the, the the breadth of what we're about to face. The little update from earlier today was that there's ghouls in the game. And anyone who's been around the channel for any of my Fallout games knows how much I love the idea of ghouls. So let's not get attached to anybody. I do like to name the characters after chat, but remember, um, you guys might be here for a good time, but not a long time. <laughs> it's uh, This sounds like it's going to be really bad. Before I read this, though, I have been keeping up with chat, so I just want to sidebar and say Russian all the positive thoughts. I hope that your puppy is okay and the vet can help her. Um, little sidebar in case you're gone before I'm done reading this. Okay, now to read this. <laughs> um Darkness stirs on the rim. Survive. Oh, no, let me skip to that part. Uh, your colonists accidentally awaken a dark monolith and provoke an insane machine mind of unfathomable power. Its terrifying manifestations begin to haunt the world. Survive these strange happenings as you study the new phenomena and learn how to end the madness. Horror stories of every kind. A psychically invisible hunter of human souls screeches outside your walls, returning every night to capture a new victim. The proximity alarm goes off, but you can't see the beast. Study samples of the creature to learn to detect it, then become the hunters and kill it where it lives. A massive flesh creature is growing across the landscape, consuming and covering the whole map with a quivering mass of meat. It defends itself with beasts and acid. Fight it to get samples of its nervous system, then study them until you can venture to its heart and kill it for good. Uh, a parasite has mind-controlled some of your colonists, but who? They pretend to be human as they work to infest others, track evidence, imprison, interrogate, and medically test people to find out who is infested before it's too late. Uh, your colonists become obsessed with a beautiful golden cube one by one. They build statues of the cube. They worship the cube. They love the cube. A pulsating obelisk appears. Its dark power is unknown. It may duplicate people, teleport them to a realm of infinite gray mazes, or violently mutate them with new fleshy appendages. Learn what it does to overload it. A corpse arrives that looks exactly like one of your colonists and seems to follow them and many more weird and horrifying events. <laughs> so I feel like I had to read those examples to you guys because me trying to express that in my own words definitely would not have captured the moment um, at all. So let me pull this up now. I went through the beginning process of making our choices. Um, so I did everything we've done from our same, our other playthroughs. We're starting with four people. That is the only thing I changed about the crash landing a scenario that we're going with. I did the kind of standard storyteller on community builder difficulty, and I did turn off ideology. So we're not dealing with the ideology part. Um, I did say I like to name the characters against uh, after chat. I do feel like that just adds to the adds to the drama. Um, so our first four are the mod team. Um, and I'm going to walk you through them, but let me say hello to everybody before I go too far down this rabbit hole. Um, and then I'll walk you through our starting four and their backstories. Hi, uh, Kevin, Brand, Mike, Lunas, Pi, Mozzie, Christy, welcome. Good to see you. Lily is here. Good to see you. Let's see. Sarah and Wander, Bill, welcome. Hope you guys all had a good Thursday. Hey, K-Flow Anime, welcome. Good to see you. Shaylana, welcome. Jens. I know all the DLCs are killing my wallet these days, too. They're so good, though. <laughs> well, I mean, I hope they're good. Hey, Aquain Bay, welcome. Ghouls are the best thing ever. No. <laughs> yeah, ideology was a lot and it messed up the game. I didn't uninstall it. Um, I decided to wing it and hope for the best. But when you go to choose one, the first option is actually to play without it. Um, like that's kind of the default. So you play without it, but you still have access to any of the other stuff that came in that DLC. I don't know what else came in the DLC, um, but it seemed 
like a good idea. Like I didn't have to uninstall it to keep it there. Hey, Nagi, good to see you. You've never seen or tried RimWorld? It's insane, Jens. It is insane. <laughs> Some of the best times on the channel have originated from this game. Um, so yeah, we've got the mod team. Uh, Pi is a army brat mechanics engineer who is a psychopath. Pi is a psychopath. Um, good at shooting, construction, crafting, and intellect. Um, and then we've got Sarah. Sarah is our coma child. So a childhood accident put Sarah into a coma. She didn't wake up until she was in her late teens. She is currently 17 and she is pregnant by an unknown father. <laughs> so Sarah came out of her coma, went a little wild, and now she's an unwed mother. And we're going to have a built in fifth member of the colony right off the bat. We'll have a kid for cleaning. <laughs> uh, she's jealous and delicate. So this one made me laugh too. The real reason that Sarah ended up this one is because she gets upset if anyone has a more impressive bedroom than her. Um, so that's how Sarah ended up as this character. She, she doesn't want anyone to have a better bedroom than she has. Uh, we've got Rabbit, who was our animal farmer. Um... <clears throat> So, yep, Animal Farmer, he's got bloodlust, gets a rush from hurting people, and never minds the sight of blood or death. He's four times as likely to start a social fight as others. Um, good at shooting, animals, intellect. Oh, I didn't even say, Sarah is really good at cooking, plants, and social. So, yeah, this is Rabid, and you might see here, Rabid has a daughter who is Christy. Now, this gets funny, because Christy is an industrial orphan, never knew her parents her earliest memories were of drudgery in the mines and workhouses of her industrial world uh, because of this she never received a proper education um so apparently you found your dad and now you crash landed on this world because you grew up without a dad but now rabbit is your dad and so here we are uh christy is too smart which means that she is very good at learning but also more prone to mental breakdowns um and tough. Wait, there's a separate anomaly start? What's the anomaly start? Now, did I, did I do all of this for nothing? What is the separate anomaly start? You're... Are, are you for real? <laughs> I read through all the starts and I didn't... You start with two researchers and a ghoul? Yeah, I know. I didn't see that on the list. If I go back, will I lose all of this? Like, if I hit back, I'm going to lose all of this because I like these people. I guess I'll lose it anyway if I go all the way back. I do have all the DLC. I don't want to lose all this. Okay, hold on, though. Let me just... Let me jump into Steam. Just real quick. I have this in my library. If I go to RimWorlds... And I go to Properties, DLC, it's installed. So it, it is active in here. I didn't see that start. Oh, okay, start this, save it. I love it. Oh yeah, see anomalies right here. All right, let's see. The three of you awaken your crypto sleep, sex, uh, blah, 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 blah. There's four of you though. Everyone crashes here. Okay. And save. Uh, let's call this anomaly one. Okay. And then quit to main menu. New colony. Oh, I swear earlier this one was not here. Two researchers and a ghoul investigate an ancient monolith. Your research expedition has finally arrived at the source of the anomalous signal, an ancient architect monolith on a distant planet. As you survey the structure from orbit, the scanner's audio feed forms garbled syllables which repeat your own name over and over. Your crewmate screams as her flesh begins flowing and reforming. A blinding beam of energy reaches up from the planet and tears your research vessel apart. You have disturbed something ancient and inhuman. Good luck, Russian. Oh. Uh... 
do we get the anomaly stuff if we don't do this start? I tried to do all of this off camera. Will we get the anomaly stuff if we don't do this though? We might have to do it this way. We're starting with four people and a ghoul though. <laughs> the other one is still saved there. The good news is the other one's still saved there. So like if we do this and it goes horribly, horribly wrong, we could switch back. But I spent like 40 minutes trying to get people. I did like 40 minutes trying to get good people. So I'm going to do four starting people, though. I don't like. Um, I don't like having only two. The idea of that sounds terrible. <laughs> You'd still get it. It would just take longer. Okay. Uh, we're going to go with it. Do we get like food and stuff? Turret packs, wood steel, void monolith, scattered randomly, ghoul transport pod. Oh, God. <laughs> we're starting with a ghoul. I don't. Do we have food? Where is food? Okay. Start with. Start with textbook. Start with tomes. Start with pump shotgun. Start with shards, turret packs, ferrite, wood, steel, plasteel. You really don't start with any food at all? Oh, right here. Twisted meat. Packaged survival meals. All right, we're going to go with 75. Pa I, I found it. <laughs> it was up top. <laughs> it was up at the top. Um, and then what is twisted meat? Is that the food for the ghoul? It's giving us a hundred. Okay. Yes. Uh, save. So we're going to go with Community Builder on Cassandra Classic, which is what I had on the other one. Oh, uh, reload anytime. I want to be able to save whenever I want. Uh, Innard seems like a great seed name. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a great seed name. We're going to rush this process a little bit. We really are. I don't want to watch let you guys watch me for like 40 minutes try to pick new people again so we're gonna roll with it uh slate sandstone and marble 100 forage ability sure yeah this part right here ideology system inactive classic grimworld without the ideology the ideologian whatever uh good for your first few games or when you're not trying to do something specific all ideology expansion content remains active so that's this skipping right past it okay so which one is the ghoul this one ghoul regeneration Ooh. wait can i randomize the ghoul too does, does the ghoul get like stats Jealous trigger. We actually, you know what? This is a pretty good mix of skills. A pretty good mix of skills. Beetlejuice is a good name. Because we can't give the ghoul a name of a person. We're going to go with it. Maybe it'll make him seem less scary. <laughs> All right, Gumpy. Pyromaniac who can't firefight. Uh, fast walker. Plants, animals, and our. Okay, plants and animals is good. Shooting, melee, and cooking. Great memory, fast learner. I don't like my people to be old. I mean, no offense, but like, I like them to be, uh, Capable of having babies. Otherwise, what's the point? <laughs> right shoulder flesh whip. A fleshy muscled tentacle with a blade at the end. The flesh whip makes an excellent melee weapon. It has its own neural structures and may become dangerous if removed. Ah! The flesh thing can live on its own. Look at the little arm tentacle. <laughs> I do want to get more out of them. <laughs> okay. This one has to stay, though, because I, I want the flesh whip thing. 
Um, shooting and melee is pretty good. Cooking. This one would be mining and artistic. Medical. And then this one is also mining, which is really not a necessary thing. Construction, cooking. That actually gives us somebody with like double stats on everything, but no medical or intellectual. Oh no! This person's also got a flesh tentacle, but their dad is the their dad is the ghoul. Their dad is the ghoul. <laughs> <laughs> so good at cooking construction mining shooting melee and so we've got two people with cooking plants and animals hey legion good to see you does anyone come with anything oh and look this one's stepdad is raf so the, the son of Beetlejuice is also this guy's stepdad, and he doesn't like him. <laughs> he doesn't like him. <laughs> Let's randomize some a couple like random people. Flesh mass lung, a cancerous mass of semi-sentient flesh. The tissue constantly regrows and replaces itself, making it immune to effects like lung rot and asthma. The organ has its own neural structures and may become dangerous if removed. Wow. This person, though, incapable of violence, which is a bit of a bummer. But medical, social, and intellect as like a double... A double affinity... Who would I replace for that, though? Mining, artistic. Yeah, see, like, there's not a good person to replace. We might just have to go with it. I don't want somebody with a flesh mass stomach. Strong enough to prevent most food poisoning. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> That's nice. You know what? We're just going to roll with it. We're going to roll with it. So the violent fast walker who is artistic but good with plants and animals. I'm still going to make this rabid. The animals thing. Um, that means... Okay, so we've got... We've got two... Christy, do you want the flesh whip? Do you want the flesh whip or do you want to be good at fighting? <laughs> I'm leaving it up to Christy. Christy, do you want the flesh whip or do you want to be good at fighting and cooking? <laughs> you want the flesh whip? Okay. Alright, that means this one is Sarah and Pi, you are the can oh wait, cannibal. Hold on. Um do cannibals only eat meat? This one might not be good. This one might be bad. Well, you know what? Let's roll with it. What's the worst that could happen? Pie will cause me problems. <laughs> We're just going to go with it and hope for the best. It's RimWorld. It's RimWorld. <laughs> All right, let's see. The ancient monolith unleashed an energy pulse that tore your research vessel apart and mutated your crew. Only a few of you made it to the escape pods. Despite the setback, your mission is far from over. If you can learn more about the monolith, perhaps you can find a way to shut it down or harness its inhuman power. All right, let's see. So we've got all the starting stuff. We need beds. So yeah, is the like, the ghoul is helpful? 
I'm, I'm very confused by that. Fallen monolith. Investigate to learn more. Let's investigate the monolith. Oh, wait. Choose who should do it. Pi can go do it. <laughs> Pi can do it. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, the monolith's dark metallic surface is warm to the touch, and Pi thinks he can hear a faint hum emanating from inside. The lines on its dusty surface seem to squirm in unsettling patterns. Pi focuses on the shapes trying to uncover their meaning. The hum strengthens. The shapes begin to flow in Pi's vision, but the surface isn't changing. Power begins to uncoil in the empty space all around. A black shape is forming in his mind. The anomaly is stirring. Keep focusing. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> As the monolith twisted and changed, Pi was overcome with a horrifying vision. In an instant, he understood. The monolith is a doorway, just barely cracked open now. Something dark beyond imagination stirs on the other side, seeping into our reality. Terrified but excited, Pi is convinced he can learn more if given the time to study the monolith. Building category unlocked anomaly. Research tab unlocked anomaly. Entity codex unlocked. You can now study the monolith and other entities to gain anomaly research. Okay. Uh, okay, so we need to discover eight basic tier entities to advance the monolith to the next step. Because it's currently one. Okay. Alright, well, first step. We need to allow everything. Let's pause. What the heck are these? Oh, okay. They were like blue when I zoomed out really far. We've got yaks and deer and muffalo. I gotta decide where I want to build is what I'm trying to figure out here. We can't start too big, I think. Turkeys. Hey, rabbit, good to see you. <laughs> All right, Brad. We'll see what comes up when people get added. Oh, there's one of these little trees over here. The anima tree. Yeah, we're not going to link to the tree yet. That's not going to happen. Um, Where is good for plants? Here. Okay, so I don't want to build over this. Because that is good plant growing ground. So let's build... I mean, I feel like building with the monolith is probably not a good idea. So let's build, like, here. Um, it's going to take me a minute to re-familiarize myself. It's going to take me a minute. All right, right now they're just, like, automatically in priorities. Let's see what happens, and then I'll I'll figure it out. Um, unrestricted. All right, so they've got sleep time and then anything time. That's fine too for now. We don't have any pets. What kinds of wildlife research. Oh, we already started with some. Okay. Brain wiring from royalty. Okay. West is that one. World takes us out here. Remember that time that we almost died because I forgot that I could trade stuff? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to end up switching to manual. Yes, for sure. But not right now. We're just going to start building stuff and see what happens. I need to... 
We need to... Orders. That's what I was looking for. Chop wood. We're going to... What's in the anomaly building stuff? A holding spot. A spot for holding dangerous entities. Not as good as a steel holding platform, but a lot better than nothing. Downed entities can be secured at a holding spot where they can be studied. Increase containment strength by building strong walls and doors and other special containment devices. Uh. You did get good sleep in that pod. <laughs> Alright, so we've got that. Now... I need a stockpile. A small one to start. We're going to want to put it in walls, but at least for now. It'll give them somewhere to put stuff. Um, and then growing zones were... Probably just need to actually snow removal. Huh. I'll deal with that later. Okay, so now we want structures. Smooth walls. Rough stone walls to be smoothed. Oh. So like if we build with one of these things, we can smooth out the wall. That's cool. That's really cool. I like that. Is the music too loud? It is creepy music. I like it. Security door. Slow to open and requires electricity, but is very strong. It's a good choice if you want to keep something dangerous out or in. <laughs> Ornate doors, auto doors, regular doors, and walls. All right, we're going to start with... Uh... I feel like I always build too small. Let's build around the stockpile, too. Oh, I can't build on this? Uh, requires to terrain that supports it. Oh. Okay, so then I don't want my thing here either how do I undo this uh nope got it delete <laughs> I got it we deleted it okay so we can put it under it Yeah, we can put it here. Uh, sandstone chunks. They're gonna need to move that around. Want them to get this undercover. Fix that after. This is gonna be like the main space. And then we need like a fridge and we need cooking somewhere. And I remember the butchering needs to be somewhere separate. How big do the bedrooms need to be? Isn't it four by four on the inside? I think like this, right? Y'all are going to share for a bit. <laughs> I do remember airlock doors for like the food later. What's Christy doing? 
Everyone should just kind of be doing their thing. I was going to start with walls. <laughs> the drunk chickens. <laughs> yep, got to keep the baby chickens away from the beer. <laughs> that was terrible. What is the gray pall? A blanket of gritty fog has descended on this area. The fog smells ancient somehow, and it stings the skin. The unnatural grayness of it invokes a sense of dread. All right. I don't like it. All right, let's see. Um... Does the ghoul need somewhere to sleep, do you think? I'm gonna put sleeping spots right there so they know where to sleep. Uh, production. Crafting spot. We're gonna have our butcher table. We'll need that. We'll need a research bench. We didn't get a pet this time. We didn't start with a pet, unfortunately. Which is kind of a bummer. We're going to end up with problems we need to fix, for sure. Um... We don't have any weapons. Yeah, he's just wandering around. Entity Codex. Person planted with an Arcotech shard and twisted by dark psychic influences into a jittering murder machine. Okay. Cool. I think maybe the ghoul is going to be in charge of keeping everybody alive. I thought we allowed everything. Heart pack. Rego cipher. Holding platform. Oh, here's the guns. There we go. The knife. There it is. Proximity detector. Kimmy's guide to recipes and... Something. Table's approach to food. We have books. Bioferrites. Yeah, the stuff's deteriorating. Now, do I need a separate junk? Is the dumping stockpile specifically for like these big rocks? Hey, Jansen, good to see you. See you later, Mozzie. I know there are stockpiles where I can allow only certain things. Yeah, chunks are not allowed. Okay. So I can put in a new one. We're going to stick a new one like, I don't know, up here. And this one is going to be only chunks and corpses. So hopefully they will move these things out of my storage. I wonder what we're going to catch in this containment platform first.
Are there chunks? Like, like big, like these are sandstone chunks. It's like the big rocks that are everywhere. Slate chunks, sandstone chunks. They're in the house and stuff. They need to get moved. Oh yeah, look, Christy, you're already moving this random skeleton. <laughs> Whose skeleton is this? Fugly. I don't... A fugly was here before we were here, so I don't know. Let's work on harvesting some of these berry plants. We're gonna want food. We're gonna want food. Oh, that is a horrible set of words. Chunks and corpses. <laughs> We probably should have put doors in these rooms. Let's uh, put doors in. For now, everyone's just kind of constructing stuff, so I'm fine letting them do whatever they want to do. Is there any flesh left for fu on Fugly for Pie to eat? Looks like no. Desiccated. Oh. There's nothing in his stuff. Oh, he was good at cooking and social. Oh, do you think he's someone that didn't survive the crash? That's why we all know him, technically. I bet that's why we don't know, or like that's why everyone knows him, because he's technically, he was part of the crew. That would make sense. It's, it's so dark because of the fog. I thought it was nighttime, but no, it's, it's six o'clock. Where's everybody else? I hear- okay, yeah. Tree chopping. I hope we kind of get a little bit established before anything scary happens. I am going to end up with all the animals, if I have time with all the other nonsense going on. But if I can, that is usually what happens. <laughs> I do usually end up with all the animals. I had a game where like half the map was one giant animal pen. So how do I get them to read a book? Cooking, 250 XP per hour. So like, who would be my... Who would be my cook? Sarah or Pi both have cooking. Huh. Yeah, maybe I have to select somebody. Yep. Alright, Sarah, you're on cooking. I'm gonna have you read the book. What was the other book? There was another book. Um... Cooking and construction. So that's gonna be pie. That's going to be Pi. Pi's going to read this book. Go read that book. Does everybody get the book? I'm assuming only one person gets to read the book. Uh... I don't know what that one is all about. I don't know what that means. Oh, Pi's reading. Okay, Sarah's reading here. Mm 
where... Isn't there a spot that shows me, like, everybody's skills? Maybe not. I mean, I guess if I hover over everything, right? So who is going to be... Was I just looking at having them do... Oh yeah, shooting. that actually shows up here. Okay, so if I actually click on them then. Uh, bio. It's not rabid. Sarah's 10. Christy's none. Oh no, how did I let that happen? Rabbit and Pi are both incapable of violence. Oh, uh, hey, Eddie. <laughs> uh, so I guess Sarah's getting the gun. And Christy, you'll get the knife with your level two melee skill. This is not going to go well for us if anything bad happens. <laughs> Have you used the brackets? Oh yeah, you do. That's a really unwieldy key to get to, though. That is not great. No, you can't even melee. You, you're, like, unable to do... You're incapable of violence. So... Sarah's good at it. Christy will do it if necessary, but Rabbit and Pie will not even do any violence. <laughs> Rabbit might be able to train up some pets to fight. <laughs> Beetlejuice, I think, can violence. Beetlejuice is good for melee. Incapable of all work. So, yeah, he's incapable of all work. I should prioritize having them cut the trees that are inside of our house. I kept meaning to kind of play this a little bit leading up to the DLC. That just didn't happen. <laughs> hey, Lily, how was your bacon? Plus whatever else you ate. But I got stuck on bacon. <laughs> this is, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to harvest the heal root in case anyone gets sick, too, I guess. I know, right? I have so much free time. I can't believe I didn't... I can't believe I didn't devote it to this game. Harbinger tree sprout. Harbinger trees have sprouted nearby. These gnarled trees grow flesh-like coverings and can feed on corpses and raw meat placed nearby. If well-fed, the grove will continue to grow... In a tribal myth, these trees are the emissaries of a shapeless god who rules an endless black ocean. The myth ends after the shapeless god reaches up from the water and tears down the sky. We have a flesh tree. Two flesh trees. Okay, so what I'm going to do here then... is put corpses up here. <laughs> we'll store our corpses up there and then they can get eaten by trees. <laughs> Let me go triple time through the night.
All right, people are starting to wake up. All right, so now that they're kind of doing some basics, We want firefighting to be number one for everybody. Um, Christy has an interest in medicine, so we're gonna put Christy as the primary and Pi has a decent level medical skill, so he's gonna be we're gonna put bed rest as number one, so they actually do it if they need to. Pi is in charge of the children. Didn't that happen the last time too? <laughs> Didn't that happen last time too, where Pi was in charge of all the kids? Uh, basic tasks. Release prisoners and flick switches on machines. That can be everyone. Warden is also pie. Handling is definitely rabid. Cooking is Sarah. But pie is a backup. Cook. Construction is pie. Hunting is Sarah. Rab is in charge of plants. Mining is going to be Christy. Um, I mean, Christy's going to do all of our crafting. Christy's the only one with any kind of decent crafting skill. Well, actually, that's not true. It's the same as pies. All in cleaning. Dark study. Pi can't do it. Disabled by Scout backstory. All right, well, Christy's going to be in charge of research, actually. Christy has the highest intellect skill. So we want to put number two on mining because research stuff needs to come first and then she can switch to mining or crafting, uh, which means that Sarah right now is cooking and hunting. Um... You have zero crafting skill. We'll put Pi on crafting. Number two after, well, construction is still number one. They'll work it from left to right. So if there's no construction to do, then we will have crafting as the top priority. I might have to tweak these as we go. I'm going to put fours everywhere. There's very few things that I really just don't want anyone to do at all. I guess if there's a red line, I should turn it off. But I want them to have backups. I want them to have backup options. So what book is this? Can everybody read the book? Sarah derided Rabbit's nephew's social skills. Okay. But yet they're best friends. Sarah and Rabbit are good friends. Rabbit has a lot of relationships with people who are not here. Um, Christy and Pi don't like each other. <laughs> but Christy is Sarah's friend. But Sarah is not Christy's friend. Ah, uh, Pi likes all these people. Except Pi's wife is not here. Pi's wife doesn't live here. So that's sad. And Beetlejuice likes Pi the best. No, no Crispy this time. 
I can't imagine that we're gonna have time for things like children. We've got no kind of defensive walls. No power. Yeah, no, no, things like children. No time for that. We're gonna have to at some point play through the start that I almost did just for the funny stories. I liked you guys and your backstories. I love that you guys are squeezing past this tree instead of using the door because no one's cut the tree down yet. We did turn off the... Yeah, there's no religion. I was giggling the whole time. It was so funny. It was so funny. I wish I'd paid close enough attention to realize that it was this start. I completely missed it. And actually, like, Pi, thank you for that extremely well-timed comment. because I saw it just in time. Oh yeah, that tree's not set to be cut. I thought they automatically cut things. I tried, I can't select it. I thought they cut things automatically if like it was in the way of construction. I think they will. I think they will because I can't select it anymore. What dangers are in this game? Oh, man. It's a lot, Jansen. Like, creepy stuff. There's ghouls, flesh monsters, weird mutations. We could still get attacked by stuff. One time we got... Like, the point of this DLC is, like, horror-based things. But in our last playthrough, we got attacked by a pack of rabid Yorkies. <laughs> so it's just really random what ends up happening to you. Pi is on construction. Yeah, I don't know what Pi is currently doing. He, oh, he is cutting this tree. Okay. But yeah, construction is technically Pi. Nobody else has... Well... Sarah and Christy have level three on it. All right, you know what? Anyone with a red skill number, I'm getting rid of it. Red is like the warning that they're incredibly unskilled. When do you think it stays gray here? Like a long time? I know, right? What happened to Rabbit? Why is he... Uncomfortable, disturbed sleep, ate without a table, slept on the ground, slept outside, slept in the cold, it's dark, it's unsightly, he was insulted, he observed a rotting corpse. <laughs> There's a lot happening. Uh-oh. A twisted creature has appeared out of thin air. Oh, like literally right there? Oh, jeez. Well, Sarah, can you fight back? Downed cannot crawl. What, what do we do with it? We can't capture it. No holding platforms available. 
We have one, but I didn't prioritize building it. Do you, uh... Get some medical assistance there, Sarah? Minor blood loss. Oh, good. Christy's coming to help. <laughs> hey, Rose. Good to see you. Okay, now can we capture you? Oh, holding platform is below minimum containment strength for Sight Stealer. It will escape soon. Well, how do I do it? Like, how do I... How do I deal with it? We kind of knocked it out and then that was it. I didn't really have a chance to do anything else. Look, I'm gonna give them a chair. Oh, how do I rotate again? E. Minimum containment strength is 30. Containment strength is zero. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta build around this thing. Um, we don't really have any stone. We have steel. We can build steel walls. Actually, hold on. We need to put this over here. And then I need to build steel walls around it. I didn't prioritize. And then security door. We don't have the necessary materials, so we're just going to have to put a wooden door on it and hope for the best. <laughs> Actually, can I put in a steel door? Yes. There we go. I love that everyone's asleep. I mean, this thing's still just chilling. Does it stay knocked out for a while? Because... We might be in trouble. <laughs> okay, we did disallow chunks and stuff, so that's good. There were these things. Okay, so books. They read books. Store books and bookcases to passively enhance intellectual and reading work done nearby and increase the beauty of the bookcase. Bookcases passively increase research speed, XP gain from reading, and recreation gain from reading in the same room. So we want a bookcase here next to our research thing. Ghouls are humans twisted by bioferrite. They can quickly regenerate injuries, making them useful as melee fighters. However, they are incapable of work. Ghouls only eat corpses and raw meat. If they go hungry, they can turn hostile. Uh-oh. Columns assigned to dark study work will study diverse entities, including creatures and structures. Uh, study structures like the Void Monolith. Studying advances, anomaly research projects, open the research tab and then select the anomaly. Okay. Uh, when an entity is down but alive, you can capture it. To capture, select a colonist. Okay, we did that. Once it has been brought to the holding platform, you can study it to gain anomaly research. Tend an injured entity's wounds to make sure it survives. Oh, and that's the caravan thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sarah's still pretty... You got a scratched middle toe and right fourth toe. 
Lots of scratches. I feel like Beetle just needs to be down here, closer to help with things. All right, so where is the bookshelf? Bookcase, small books. I'm gonna put this bookcase here next to the research table. Oh no. Another one? A twisted creature is a... Is this the same one? It's the same one. Okay. Beetlejuice, come fight this thing. Christy's running away. Run, Christy, run! Hit him with your flesh tentacle! <laughs> uh, where's Sarah? Everyone got hurt. Wait, where's Sarah? Oh, right over here. Okay. Okay, everyone's minorly injured. Everyone is very minorly injured. <laughs> hey, Edmund, thank awesome. you for continuing to be a member. Okay, we're healing up. This thing is dead. Uh, can Beetlejuice eat it? Yeah, I know we need defenses. You've been here some time and have probably been seen. Pirate raids will start soon. You should prepare to defenses like sandbags or traps. Oh man, we're going to be in trouble. <laughs> hey, Clinton, good to see you. Hey, Jax, welcome. This always happens to me at the beginning of this game. It's like there's not enough time to do all of the things. We don't even have bedrooms or a kitchen yet. Let alone power. Our storage is almost full. We need to get like storage shelves in here. We don't have any cold storage for food. All right, is this thing still here? Um. Okay, rabbit haul that. No, this is not supposed to allow corpses. There we go. Okay, rabbit, go haul this up to the, the meat trees. I want to see if the meat trees actually eat it. <laughs> I want to see. Hey, Pacific, good to see you. All right, are our meat trees going to eat this corpse? No? It's in range of both of them, technically. Need a meal source. Yeah. We do need a kitchen. I need bedrooms for everybody. We're one bedroom short. At least one bedroom short. My build is always end up looking exactly the same. Storage over here, kitchen over here, main workroom, bedrooms lined up this way. It always ends up exactly the same. Let's put... We need another bedroom. This is moving. So we have the space to do it here. It's just not going to be connected on the inside.
Everyone's healing. So they're all just... I'm gonna let them self-tend. They're not gonna be good at it, but at least it's a possibility. Uh, yeah, that was the previous you, Sarah. This you doesn't care about the big bedroom. Alright, so if I put... I'm gonna get rid of that sleeping spot and this one. We're gonna start putting in furniture. I'm gonna build double beds because you never know. You guys might end up wanting to share eventually. It'd be really convenient if two of them were in a relationship and could share a bed. <laughs> It works out that way. Alright, so we'll build those. And then we're going to build out this way. Oh, Christy's doing research on this thing. That stresses me out. I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good idea. Can they share even if they're not in a relationship? I don't know. <laughs> It'd be funny. Would be pretty funny. All right, let's see. Pi, you're totally fine. I'm going to need you to prioritize some building here, please. Let's start with a bed. At least one. We want those hauled out of the way. We want the trees cut down out of our storage base, ideally. This is already full. Oh yeah, how are the meat trees? Did they eat the body? Oh, they totally did, look! They've got little meat tree tentacles gnawing on the body. Oh, that is epic. Also, I feel like we need to plant some food. Which is good right here. Um, zones, growing zone. Uh, do I want it to be potatoes? I feel like we used to do rice. 5.8 days. Rice would grow in three days. Let's change it to rice. That might be too big of a zone, but I also want a zone over here of eel root. What were the other options? Nutrifungus. Six days. A meaty bioengineered mushroom grown for its nutritious value can grow in fungal gravel, but only in darkness. Exposing it to any kind of light, including dark lights, will kill it. Oh, cool. Oh good, Pi's fully healed. Fantastic. Progress is being made. New lovers? Sarah tried to romance Rabbit by joking about philanthropism. Rabbit responded well and is now Sarah's lover. Sarah and Rabbit now want to sleep together, considering assigning them a double bed. Aw, thanks guys. Sweet. 
set owner. Uh, Rabbit and Sarah, that's your bedroom. Fantastic. Technically, Christy already claimed that bed, so sorry, Christy. <laughs> Thank you, Jordan. Good to see you. We totally just kicked Christy out of this bed. To <laughs> it's fine. We'll prioritize this one. I come. Oh, good. Pi is coming to work on this bed. Perfect. That totally solved my problem, though. Now we have enough bedrooms. I don't even have to add on. I do need to get a kitchen going, though. <laughs> we need lights in this place. And floors. I always forget floors. A visitor. Uh-oh. A slaughterer is visiting the colony. She seems to have a few items to trade. All right. I think we want to trade with a slaughterer, but... Okay, good. Rabbit is fully healed. That's good. This one is going to be... We'll give this one back to Christy. Because we stole her bed. That means just Pi has to come and finish his own bed. This is going to go down in flames, guys. There's no way it doesn't. We we ended up with two people incapable of combat. This might be one of those failed colonies where we learn a lot of stuff and then we start again. Because <laughs> we don't even have a kitchen. We don't even have a full set of walls. We don't even have anything. I'm going to need you to finish this wall. Oh yeah, does this game autosave? I don't know if it autosaves or when. I haven't been paying attention, but good reminder. <laughs> okay, he's cutting down that thing, which is good. These all need to be hauled away. This has space in it, so that's good. I'll still probably build out this way so that I can put in like a kitchen. Now that I can get rid of the sleeping spots. Okay, good. Christy's fully healed now. Oh, no. We don't want steel. I'm gonna put a door here. Now that door is going to connect into where we have a butcher's table. Uh, production. Okay, so fueled stove, electric stove. We're gonna have to go fueled stove. And then butcher table over here. I'm gonna give you guys chairs. That's how much I love you. <laughs> Everybody gets a chair. And then I'll eventually put cold storage probably up here, maybe? I don't know. But this will keep like the butchering nonsense separate. late. People should be sleeping. But Linus, you want a chair too? If you join and you have a spot that requires a chair, I promise you'll get one. Everyone gets a chair in this one. <laughs> I don't know. 
some things like crafting tables, so nobody's gonna have stuff like pants. Uh, stone cutter, tailor, research bench. Yeah, we need to put in like all of the. Recreation. Yeah, I gotta give you guys some recreation. Put it down here. There you go. That should make you happy. <laughs> Temperature. Security. Barricades, sandbags. Floors. That's the other thing we're missing. I always forget to do floors. Uh, what does concrete take? Do concrete under this room. Uh, Sarah, you are still injured. You were the most scratched up. So you're getting better. But yeah, you're still all scratched up. Yeah, outdoors right now is 10. Indoors is 14 to 13. I don't know what that is. It's above freezing. I would love to have a mega sloth, but I feel like it will definitely murder us. So we should probably hunt stuff. What is this? Jade? Compacted machinery. Yaks. You guys know I want to tame up my own animals, but I feel like for to start, we need to just kill stuff. Oh, look. Oh, Beetlejuice went to eat the corpse, too. Beetlejuice is eating the body. Oh. Alright, so we kind of have to keep up on raw meat for him. Allow this steel. An ancient bed. Ancient locker bank. Uh oh. Oh, gift. A recurve bow. Oh. Thanks. You left us a gift. Oh, Christy's carrying a turret. A wearable pack that allows the user to deploy a battery-powered turret. So who can equip the bow? Let's have Christy do it. Get You must have been the one that picked it up. We had one. It came with us as part of our package when we crashed. But I thought it was just going to get put away. Um, but you must have picked it up. K, 
Can you use a bow with your tentacle? <laughs> You're probably better at using it than anything. Anything else, honestly. Okay, good. Pie's putting a roof up. Sarah's still on bed rest. We are still struggling with the basics. Rabbit is planting, so that's good. But yeah, the basics are still a struggle. So uh, if we get attacked by anything, all bets are off. I wanted to do the floors so it stops looking like this. What are you building right now? A research table? Christy is hauling things. That's good. We need those hauled out of our space. Good job, Christy. Grab is planting. Pie is building the research desk. And then Christy will be able to start researching. I know, right? If anything happens, Christy's got to deploy that turret. I feel like to get the things we need, potentially we'd have to do a caravan to trade, but like we're not equipped for that. We're not prepared for that. Okay, so now we can research things. Um, all right, we can do an anomaly research, void provocation, build a psychic ritual spot and perform psychic rituals. Use the Void Provocation Ritual to discover new entities. Bioferrite Harvesting. Build Bioferrite Harvesters to generate Bioferrite from captured entities contained in holding platforms. Entity Containment. Build holding platforms and inhibitors to better contain enemies. Let's do that. I feel like we also need to uh, come over here and assess. I mean, beer brewing would be nice, but probably not like a priority at the moment. I remember when we went down the path of fertility procedures? <laughs> oh, that was funny. Yeah. Beer would be nice. We already have electricity. Advanced lights. Solar panels might be nice. Geothermal power would be good. We've got a little power thing down there. Pemmican. We should research that. Um, we also should probably research smithing at some point. I'm not quite clear on, can I set two things? Yeah, like right now we have a research on both tabs, so... Is that going to work out the way I hope it does? I want to put a table in for them to eat at. Sarah, Sarah's still not healthy. 
Almost there. Laboratory is awful. It's very dirty. And ugly. <laughs> to be fair, it doesn't even have a floor, so we're working on it. <laughs> How old are in-game Rabbit and Sarah? Um, Rabbit is 56. Sarah is 58. Chrissy is 23. Pi is 47. And Beetlejuice is 80. So you guys are in your late 50s. There's going to be no babies in this group. Unless we research fertility treatments. And then all bets are off. There is no limit. Sarah, I'm really going to need you to come hunt the turkey. Sarah shot the house. Sarah. I mean, we're hunting with a shotgun, so it's not ideal. Now, what I'm going to have to work out is she's going to carry it up here for the meat trees. But really, we need our butcher table finished so we could make the meat. I'm gonna need a cooler for meat to go in, though. But... We've got berries, at least. So there is, there is food. And there will be rice here soon. Harvest some more plant root. Is there anything useful in here? use this ancient bed as a medical bed. <laughs> what day are we on? Because I feel like we're not progressing fast enough. We're running at single speed, though. Usually in these games, I'm running at at least double speed. But in this game, I feel like things go badly too fast for that. Okay. <clears throat> so the good news is that's there. So technically Beetlejuice could come eat it as well. I'm going to have him do that, in fact. We got to make sure we have enough meat around for Beetlejuice not to starve and turn violent because we could be destroyed from the inside if we let Beetlejuice turn on us. We need lights. It's far too dark. Wind turbine. No, I don't have enough parts for that. We need components. I think that's what held us back the last time, too. And the only way to do it was by trying to go trade for them. But, like, who do we send for that, you know? Compacted steel. This is a new thing now, too, which is nice. You can set it to mine the vein, so then they'll just keep mining 
all of the, in this case, compacted steel. Because I don't think there's anything around. Compacted machinery. Maybe that'll have something interesting. Ancient Warwalker Torso. Ship chunk? Oh, Sarah's healed! Yay! Is that a car? Attack this to destroy it. Macro engine block. It totally is a car. We have a car on the map. Uh-oh. This one's blinking. Blinking lights are never a good sign. Ancient nav beacon. Just gonna have them like take apart random stuff. What was this again? Compacted machinery. Mine that vein too. This is gonna be fine. Everything's fine. Now it's like the middle of the night and Sarah's finally up and doing things because she's healed up finally. Sarah, you've been laying in bed for days. You just want to be up and about. I increased our starting food. Don't these urns count as decorations? I feel like I could reinstall this in people's bedrooms and it will make them happy. Could be completely making that up. Even if I am making it up, it makes me happy to think so. Everybody gets a weird urn in their bedroom. May or may not concern contain the ashes of a dead ancient person. <laughs> we should try to tame the turtle. See if we can get a pet turtle. Turtle is unlikely to turn on Rabid and kill him. I mean, less likely, but it's not impossible. Ooh, bunnies. Gold ore. Should mine out the gold, too. It could bite off his toe. <laughs> Am I going to unlock a regular ancient danger in this map if we survive that long? I mean, at this point, I'm not sure if we're going to survive <laughs> the regular things. I feel like I always prioritize the wrong things. And then it's like, here we are on day, I don't know, nine or 10 with partial rooms. We can't even cook food. <laughs> we have a research table and a bookshelf for our books. But No actual food. Items. Uh, we're going to turn off books. I want books only to go in the storage in the bookshelf. 
if we survive long enough, I, like I'm not opposed to doing any of the things, ancient dangers, any of the things. But I, I don't have high hopes that we're going to survive. <laughs> uh, everybody's sleeping again, so we're going to triple time until somebody gets up. Rabbit is eating. So we have this proximity detector. But it needs power. And for power, we need components. Can I craft components? Uh, it's, it's a little bit frustrating that I'm in the same boat because... Components is what held me back the last time, and I can't remember exactly how to fix it. I don't, I would assume there's an ancient danger. As far as I know, like the starts just change your starting conditions. But as far as like what is in the world and in the map in general, I would imagine it's the same. floors. Oh, Sarah came in here to read the book. <laughs> She's sitting in the random chair. Sarah came to sit in the one random chair that we built. Hey, Patrick. All right, so now Rabid is... On handling and growing. Oh, good. He is doing the turtle. I'm like, why is he not doing the turtle? Sarah needs a task other than just cooking and hunting because... I'm going to move you up on hauling and cleaning, I guess. Oh, nope, that was Christy. Let's put Sarah... Oh, Sarah has, like, no mining skill. Christy's my miner, but Christy's also research. You're back up on construction now, which is working out. I is doing that. How's our turkey? Okay, the turkey's gone. Beetlejuice is hungry. So actually, Sarah, you need to hunt something. I might need to... change the priority there. Oh, we have 45 components. Oh, Sarah will never do hauling. Okay. That's right. We have components. They're just sitting out here, not put away, so it's not showing over here that I have them to use. Okay, for real though, Sarah needs to go hunt something. Uh, but yeah, I got distracted. What I was saying is, maybe I don't want the meat trees eating the meat. Because if Beetlejuice doesn't get enough of the meat, things are going to go bad rather quickly. Okay. 
It's not going to be good. I mean, I assume. I can't imagine it will be good. Oh, now Pi's sitting down to read. <laughs> okay, Sarah's going to go hunt this thing. So, yeah, maybe I don't want... Well, now I can build power. Not much. Uh, should give our faction a name. Because she also thinks that you should give the settlement a name. Seagraves is a nice name. Uh, most of these I can't read. Aurora is our faction, and our settlement is Seagraves. We're just gonna go with it. <laughs> um, did we kill the thing? Did we do it? There is back to building. So did we? Did we not kill the thing? Two are here. The two Ibex are right here, but I got distracted. There were three. The third one is the one we were trying to hunt. Where did it go? Like I don't I don't see its body anywhere. I am very confused. Uh, but Beetlejuice is hungry. There I go hunt the turkey. I don't know what happened to that thing. Because we should still, I mean, like, there should be, like, blood stains. We should see its body. Will it show? Will a dead wildlife... Uh-oh. Oh, heat wave. There are only two Ibex now. So she killed it. Okay, so we might need some coolers. Chrissy's back up studying this thing. Power. We have a thousand wood. We could do a wood fire generator. I have a red line to this plant. Okay, and then we're gonna need batteries. way to, own, to have them covered without being in a room? How did we do that? Um, I don't think Beetle... Well, maybe we could have Beetlejuice hunt his own food. It's an interesting question. Okay, Sarah... Again... Oh, Beetlejuice is fed. Okay, so 
I'm not gonna question it, but Beetlejuice ate something. It was a way of building like a covered I forget what it was. A bridge. Because I want to put batteries and it, they will explode if they're exposed to rain. Oh, build roof area. Okay, right. So if I build a roof here... And then put batteries under it. That's what it is. And then we want a waterproof conduit from... Oh no, it just has to be regular. Okay, good. Now that's covered. Perfect. I figured it out! <laughs> how much I'm, I need to build these things yay <laughs> all right bills what's your creature do you forever okay all right so now we have the butcher table Cool cabinet. Huh. No one seems to be complaining too much about the heat. Nighttime. A much better timed yay than last night's, for sure. Rabbit staying up late reading. All right, Pi is up. Pi also has a turret, which is useless. Because he can't use it. Uh, gear. Drop. Sarah needs to equip the turret. Okay. Sarah's the only other person that can use the turret, so Sarah and Christy will both have turret backpacks. I didn't even realize that Pi was wearing it when he can't even use it. Okay. I do need to start putting some shelving in here. Uh, furniture, lights. Okay, we're definitely going to want... I feel like we want dressers. In all of these bedrooms. But yeah, we want wall lights. Okay, 
I gotta get the power set up and then we'll do that. Okay. A party? Sarah is throwing a party! Everyone who goes will gain recreation and social energy and a lasting positive mood boost. All right. <laughs> um, simple meals. Fine meals. Yeah, we definitely... Lavish, vegetarian, carnivore. Lavish meals. Baby food. All right, we definitely just need simple meals. Uh, and we're gonna do it until we have, there's only four of us. So let's do 12. I don't have a cold place to put it yet. So that's unfortunate. Although with power, I can probably get on building a cold storage room. Harbinger tree sprout. Oh, it grew a third one. Now we have three trees. Oh, create a corpse stockpile. Oh, you can do that automatically? <laughs> you can just click a corpse stockpile around all of this stuff. I didn't even have to do this one. It just creates one giant corpse stockpile. Hey, a buck. Let's go hunt it. I thought that everyone was paused, but no, they're all just having a super awkward standing around party. <laughs> As the party's just up here, next to the mud pit, you guys are really going all out with this uh, party situation. Attending party, relaxing socially. All right, well, it's good that we have cooking. Once they finish this, then we'll have a secure-ish. I'm still not sure if it's going to meet the level of 30, but... We'll have a secure-ish location. This is a dull bedroom. This is an awful bedroom. So yeah, having the urn in here brings it from awful to dull. <laughs> All right, Sarah, you can fuel that. She's going to start cooking, which is good. Okay, so we need... I don't think it needs to be very big. Gonna create this as just cold storage. Uh, and our butcher's room is gonna serve as like the uh, <clears throat> drawing a complete blank. I did claim the ancient bed. I did claim it. I'm probably going to move it down and set it to be a medical bed. <laughs> All right. So now we need a table that people can eat at. Because people keep eating on the ground and they don't like it. 
We can only fit three chairs at the table, so somebody cannot eat with everybody else, but... I guess I could move it down to the middle of the room, but... Eh, they're fine. <laughs> they're fine. All right, we've got to finish this. Sarah is making simple meals. Uh-oh. A group of wasters from Venom Blighters have arrived nearby. They are attacking immediately. Okay, so... Is it literally just this guy? I think it's just this guy. Beetlejuice is coming from across the map. Can he get there first? I want to see if Beetlejuice can take this guy on. It's just one person. Let everybody else just carry on with their business. Crawling away. I'm going to need you to go ahead and die so he can eat you. Okay. There we go. <laughs> now we're eating the dead body. It's fine. It's fine. Beetlejuice was hungry. <laughs> Pie's been happily eating the regular food. Even though he's a cannibal, he hasn't eaten anybody yet. So I think... I think he's good. Undraft. There you go. Alright, are you just gonna heal yourself? Because he has regeneration. Okay, cool. Hey, whatever. <laughs> he did it. Nobody else had to bother with it. It all worked out. He'll regenerate himself. I think. Because he has regeneration. An impossibly fast rate of regeneration supported by a distant arco architectonological engine. It will heal nearly any wound in a short time. But they don't use beds or anything. Yep, he dropped a uh, silver. Silver and the handgun that he had. So they're both set to be hauled away. When somebody gets a moment. Rabbit is dropping off the body. And then it's already being consumed. <laughs> already consuming the body. All right, we're working on our powers. So that's good. Yeah, I'm wondering, like, do these guys have any kind of benefit? Harbinger tree. I mean, they're part of the, they're part of the thing.
It's like, I wonder if we should be feeding these trees versus just saving them for Beetlejuice to eat. <clears throat> yes, if you want to keep their clothes, they do have to be stripped off first so people don't get mad. Power? is weird like is this going to actually count because I can't get conduit any closer it this is it this will work even though it's just kind of power adjacent it's square based okay yeah okay good I want it to be like touching it or it throws me off, but if this works, then this works. Now I've got to get the power up over here. Because we're going to want to put in um, temperature coolers. At least one here. So I'm going to need to conduit up. This way. This way. And then I can go along this wall. Now I can put lights in as well. Uh, furniture, wall lamps. At least one. We'll start with one light. <laughs> could put a roof between my two buildings. Eventually, th these are not going to be separate buildings. Is the plan. I think I gotta get rid of some of this stuff. We need to finish this wall. I want to see what the security level is of this holding platform. I could have theoretically put in a security door now. All right, Pi is going to need to prioritize this piece. Rabbit is doing, I don't even know what. Oh, taming the tortoise. Okay, I forgot we were still doing that. Gonna make Beetlejuice come eat more of this corpse before it's already or it's completely eaten by the trees. Christy's still sleeping. Can you run conduit under doorways? Because I just ran this in such a weird way because I was trying to avoid doors. But can you run it under doors? Uh, furniture, storage shelves. Okay. 
All right, and then once these shelves are built, Actually gonna cancel these because I think it's facing the wrong way. I don't know if it matters that it's facing the wrong way, but this one looks different. And then we'll set them to put all their food in here. Blocked by, oh, the trees are in the way. How do I... Wasn't there a way of doing like... Oh yeah, orders. Completely forgot that the trees being in the way would be a problem. <laughs> No, immediately no. Um, animal corpses, yes. Raw resources. Plant matter. Uh, foods, all foods. Copy settings. Ace settings. Ace settings. Ace settings. Okay, so now these should only do foods, raw plants. Probably put body parts in there. <laughs> And then animal corpses. Big corpses aren't going to fit here. So that's kind of like whatever. So the next step is this one needs to not allow food. No food. Then we'll move all the food up into this room. We're low on food. Fantastic. Okay, we're starting to get power though. Slowly but surely. We don't have any cables here yet. Uh, let's harvest these berry plants. Our rice is 66% grown. Yeah, low food, I know. What's all the blood? Is this old blood? Crimson, <laughs> good to see you. I hope that's old blood. We gotta research geothermal power so I can put something on the steam geyser. We're gonna set the yak to be hunted. Can we get milk from the yaks? I'm going to put low priority on this just to see if they'll 
do the other things first. All right, Sarah's cooking food, which is good. It's going in here, which is perfect. We don't have the cooler built or power, to be fair. So it doesn't really matter either way. <laughs> Blocked by oak tree. Okay, that tree needs to go. It's moving. It's producing a little bit of power. Not much. Not much power. Containment strength 62. Uh oh. Sarah has heat stroke. Uh, it's 52 inside. That's, that's hot. Heat stroke. Okay, recovery is quick in a cool area. Well, <laughs> we don't have one of those. Probably put a should have put in a passive cooler that I could have her go uh, hang out near. Let's put a passive cooler in the kitchen. And then we'll have Pi prioritize it. It's still saying that it's blocked by an oak tree. And that's the only one even close to it. No, the kitchen is awful. So that brought the temperature here to 46 instead of 51. <laughs> uh, it's slightly better. <laughs> All right, but Sarah's going to go cook a meal. Right now it's 8.7% heat stroke. Let's see if cooking a meal next to the cooler will help. It's not going up. Still at 8.7. I know, right? Where's our group of orphans to clean the house? <laughs> All right. Well, the heat stroke has stayed at 8.7. It's not going up or down. The temperature difference from the passive cooler is not that great. Okay, so the batteries are hooked up. There's enough power for the light. Kind of. What is this set to right now? Target temperature 21. Is setting it at zero too excessive? I mean, setting it at zero would be a freezer. already really cool in there <laughs> it's already it's already 20 16 17 13 i mean comparatively outside it's 46 can i set the game to fahrenheit Can we put it in freedom units? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, temperature unit. Fahrenheit. We can put it in Kelvin. Oh, yeah. Outdoors. 115. 120 in the bedrooms. Not great. 116. 90 in this room now. The freezer is 40-ish. <laughs> so people are, yeah, probably not going to be... Uh... But heat stroke's down to 4%, so it's going down. It is going down, but people can take turns hanging out in the uh, the freezer if they need to. I probably should have put the shelves to this side because they're grabbing things off the shelf without actually going in or out. So they're just kind of leaving the door hanging open. Which is making a difference. It's 45 in there now where it was in the 30s. I, d I didn't make their rooms big enough. Like there just isn't enough space to put coolers in their actual bedroom. Yeah, it's hotter in their rooms right now than it is outside. <laughs> 114 versus 111. I mean, either way, those are not good. All right, so now that I have power, proximity detector, a scanner capable of detecting invisible creatures. The device raises an alarm when it detects the presence of psychically invisible biosignatures within its radius. Take 75 watts of power. I feel like maybe I run the conduit all the way through the house and put it out over here near the containment area. And that might work. The rice is 69% grown. Somebody needs to clean up in this place. It's filthy. <laughs> it is filthy. Containment cell is awful. Negative seven. It's ugly. It's tight. It's dirty. How's it dirty? No one's even been in here. You think they need lights? <laughs> Batteries are filling up. This is so slow. It's just not very windy. Oh yeah, it's nighttime. Let's uh, triple speed through the night. People are up. It is 32 in the freezer, which is what it's set to. It's set to 32. So the freezer is working as land. How is Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice is hungry. Crap. Can Beetlejuice pummel something to death? Can Beetlejuice use a melee weapon? No, I don't think so. Uh, is there anything around? Ooh, hello. Beetlejuice, come eat this body. I don't know what killed it, but it's your snack now. <laughs> Monitoring this ghoul so that it doesn't starve is kind of a full-time job. Yours uses his... Oh, yours has a whip? Hi, your ghoul has a whip and he beats raccoons to death with it? Mine doesn't have anything. 
He just exists. So it's taking a lot of effort to keep him fed. <laughs> Uh, what's Rabbit doing? Adding wood? Come clean. Rabbit can come clean stuff up because it is filthy. <laughs> I know, Rabbit, but there's nothing to handle. <laughs> Clean the kitchen. Clean the laboratory. Oh, I love that I can just tell you to clean a room. That's new. To just be able to right click and say like clean this room. I should probably give them bedroom lights. I'm clean the kitchen. I love that. Christy, what's Christy doing? Oh, Christy's praying. Okay. Sure. All right, Rabbit, now you can go about your business. <laughs> uh, is Beetlejuice full now? Yes. And Sarah is grabbing the body. Hopefully to butcher. I'm assuming that's what Sarah's going to do with it. <laughs> uh, I skipped ideology. I skipped an ideology. Mistakes were made in the creation, though, because I accidentally chose you and Rabid both as unable to do violence. Ooh, ancient danger. As Pi draws near the ancient wall. Okay, so there is an ancient danger in here. That answers your question from earlier, Sarah. Yeah, I kept ideology off, but I accidentally took two people incapable of violence, which is a huge setback. <laughs> That's a, a bit of a problem. Oh, the simple meals. Okay, yeah, you're going to use the meat for it too. Perfect. Yeah, because we're like out of berries. Oh, good grief. I love that there's just like random blood pools everywhere. I think if we leave raw meat on the shelf, that he'll come in and eat raw meat, too. Can you right-click and say to clean up, like, the blood? I don't know. Yeah. Prioritize cleaning the blood of Pi and Sarah. <laughs> and the blood of the Sight Stealer. This is still blood from, like... Day one. You can force him to eat raw meat? Okay. He's just such a problem. And I don't have one with a whip. I should have rolled the dice on this one enough until he had his own little uh, appendage. Because <laughs> I don't think he will... I mean, I don't know if he can punch a squirrel to death. Should I have him go punch a muffalo to death? I'm really sad, Pi, that you have one and you're incapable of violence. 
Your little neck tentacle is useless because you you are incapable of violence. Such a fail. Can the doctor operate on the ghoul and add appendages? I don't know. I just don't picture the, the ghoul being fast enough. From a damage perspective, I think he definitely could. He took on somebody with a gun just fine. But I just can't picture him chasing a squirrel around fast enough. Where's like the in-between animals? Allow the steel. Like, where's all the stuff that's be between a muffalo and a squirrel? I know I have my wildlife tab here. Alpacas! Beetlejuice, go attack the alpaca! I thought the ghouls were going to be scary, and they probably would be if I was getting attacked by one. The little crunchy eating noises he makes. Sarah has nothing to do. Why? Sarah? Cooking, hunting, construction. Yeah, yeah, I guess you really do have nothing to do, huh? Uh. I gotta build more stuff. Squirrel! What do I have for other production things? Stone cutter's table. Nope. Put that there. And then a and Taylor's bench. Then we can put in an art bench. And I'm gonna put in chairs. <laughs> Here we go. We got a couple workstations Sarah can build. We're just gonna build the stations. I think this also, yeah, I could build a tool cabinet in this room. And then this one, these things also benefit from a tool cabinet. When she's done building them, we need more lights too. I'll put one in the too far away. I have to run the conduit this way as well. Uh, we'll put one... I don't really have that much power yet, so... We'll put one on this side of the room for... Christy's research. And then we'll spread the conduit... Oh, no, not waterproof conduit. Regular conduit. This way. And then... I can put a light in here. And one... Here. That should definitely reach. 
And then we need to conduit our way this way. No, not that way. This way. Can I go under the doors? It lets me do it. And then we're going to put lamps in the bedrooms. The doors are fine. Okay, good. That's probably where I'm going to put the tool thing. I wanted to build all the benches so that I can get the little squiggly line that tells me if they're connected. It should be. I mean, they're all right here next to each other. I just want to make sure it counts. All right, so that'll give Sarah some extra stuff to build. Technically, Pi, too. He's in charge of building. We have no food. How close is this rice? 89. Okay, so... Yeah, see, Sarah brought the alpaca here instead of butchering it. Is the butcher table set to... Yeah, butcher creatures forever. But she brought the alpaca here instead. What other wildlife do we have? Where are the gazelles? Beetlejuice, come attack some gazelles. <laughs> oh, right, because we didn't kill it. That makes sense. You coming? I know, he's like all the way across the map. <laughs> We're just gonna kill a couple gazelle bodies. Because we have 25 survival meals, two simple meals, and that's it. There's no backup food whatsoever. We have no berries. We have no meat. <laughs> now, meanwhile, closer to home... Are there quickly accessible berry bushes? Nothing super close. Go. Um. Oh, Sarah won't do hauling. Wait. If Sarah won't do hauling, how can Sarah does is that like a a loophole? Cause Sarah definitely took the turkey to be butchered, but Sarah's the one who killed it. Oh, so maybe I can click on her. Oh, yeah, look, she butchered something. Prioritize butchering. Okay, good. She's going to go grab a gazelle. Uh, undraft. 
Beetlejuice can eat some of this one. He actually got pretty hurt by all that. Bruised from a gazelle hoof on the right index finger. <laughs> Thank you, Pi. I forgot I could have her do it from the bench, not from the animal. Quest available to Solitary Dame. Uh, calling from nearby. Her guards were killed in an ambush. She escaped and is now being followed by a man-hunting guinea pig. Wants you to keep her safe at Seagrace for a few hours until her shuttle can come pick her up. She will bestow eight honor on whoever accepts this quest. This is enough honor to receive the royal title of Yemen and all benefits that come with it, including the first level of psychic powers. I mean, Beetlejuice is already kind of hurt, but... Uh, except with... Oh, crap. Uh, Sarah, I guess. Uh, I can't accept with Pi or Rabbit because they can't defend. A uh, disgraced officer named Monus has arrived and is joining the, co joining the colony. Okay. Okay, Beetlejuice is doing his thing. Sarah. Oh, we've got no door on this side of the house. I'm like, what is everyone doing going around the long way? I didn't give them a door. <laughs> Let's just put this door right here. <laughs> All right. So now Sarah... It's going to say that she's going to melee attack it, but when she gets closer, I'm going to have her shoot it. Where is this dude? He hanging out somewhere safe? It'd be really unfortunate if after all this, he died. Really gonna get beat up by a guinea pig? Melee attack the guinea pig to death. Okay. There you go. Uh, Sarah is going to arrest. Beetlejuice is chilling. I is building things. Oh, look, they stuck the gazelle body in here. <laughs> they really did stick the gazelle body in the freezer. All right, let's see where Sarah got hurt. Uh, right leg and left arm got bitten by the guinea pig. Shuttle arrived. Oh, wait, he, he, is he stealing my guinea pig? Royalty dude's carrying the dead guinea pig. He's butchering the guinea pig. <laughs> All right, hey, at least he did some work before he left. We need a meditation spot. Okay. I feel like we should switch the recurve bow between Christy and Sarah. Because right now Sarah's hunting with a shotgun. He's cooking and everything. Oh yeah, get in shuttle. <laughs> Call. He was just doing work. 
All right, let's see. Free holder title games. Quest completed. Uh, the store will revive by shuttle and perform the ceremony. We'll only give a title if any throne room requirements are satisfied. Right. We need a throne room for this. Uh, the title freeholder. Okay. Yeah, I forgot we need a throne room for that. <clears throat> Well, the quest said that they'd come to do the ceremony and would need a throne room to do it. The bestower will only give a title if any throne room requirements are satisfied. Oh, if any are satisfied, but we don't need one. I see. I see. I read that wrong. Okay, so... It, they'll only give a title if any requirements are satisfied. It's not saying that there are any. All right. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of people. Sarah's like sick in bed. <laughs> Are they gonna come do the ceremony in bed? Okay, select and click start bestowing ceremony. Okay. Let's all go be part of the ceremony. Everyone to the kitchen. What a weird, trippy, like, ceremony thing that's happening. <laughs> so strange. Oh, we accepted it eight days ago. I was like, do we have a deadline on this? But it just shows us how long ago we accepted it. I was like, that's a real bummer if this monolith thing has a deadline. We have gazelle meat, alpaca meat, and guinea pig meat. Unimpressive bestowing ceremony. <laughs> Sarah received one honor as a sign of respect. Terrible bestowing ceremony. Unimpressive. <laughs> okay. Sarah has a title. Uh, she's now a psy caster. To use psychic powers, she must build up psy focus through meditation. Effectiveness of this meditation is increased if the person can focus on a specific object while meditating. Different people are able to focus on different objects. How do I know what the object is? You can see someone's meditation focus types by looking at their info card with the I button. Okay. Uh, I. Life expectancy. Why did I not know that they had a life expectancy? Um, renounce title, health permits, records. Where does it say anything about meditation? 
combat social work I don't see anything specifically about it. We have a little pop-up that said we needed a meditation spot. Yeah, near the best focus object they can use. But I, I don't see anything about a focus object. Oh, right here. Meditation focus types. Uh... Meditation Throne can use artistic focus types. Small sculptures. Okay. Okay, so it's a... Uh... Okay, so she can meditate at the throne or sculptures. Which makes sense. We, I mean, like, this is one of those. If I claim this thing. And then. Where is the meditation spot? Creation. Miscellaneous meditation spot. If I put it here. She focus on that. Because technically we own this thing. Oh, I could have searched it. Right. Oh, they haven't finished this. I'm like, why is there still no lights? They haven't done this piece yet. All right, everyone's going to go to bed here. None of this rice was brought inside. Gazelle self-tamed? Oh, we have a pet gazelle. Now I want to tame the male gazelle. So that we can have gazelle babies. <laughs> We're not really set up for that. I don't have a... I don't have a pen for it. But yeah, if I can tame the male. We're definitely going to need to build a pen now. Okay, it's 6 a.m. Where are we gonna put that? Let's see. Uh, structures. We need fencing. I guess down here? We're gonna start small. You can always make it bigger later. Uh, furniture though. I need the... I don't know what it's called. Ah, pen marker. There we go. There we go. Oh, I was going to make this tool cabinet here. 
we don't have enough feel for it. It's 200. We're gonna build it, but... Definitely have more to do there. Okay. Um, there's berries to haul home, too. So we have food. There's components here that need to be brought inside. All right, let's see. All right, we're going to put... Hauling and cleaning is rabid secondary high priority items. I guess plant cutting was a handy one too, though. Because all he is in charge of right now is plants and animals and stuff. So just to give him like a backup task. Uh, Beetlejuice is fed like halfway. It's not really windy. Why does it still say blocked by oak tree? Which tree? And there's nothing in the circle, or circle, the rectangle. <laughs> Christy, you are, oh yeah, you're mining. You have the mining skill, Christy, so you're mining stuff for us. I'm not sure which of these... There's definitely no tree in the circle. I am going to keep calling it a circle. <laughs> I must not have a research. Yeah, I stopped having a research thing. Um, geothermal power is going to take a long time. But I want it. Okay, now that we have a cold room, maybe I should increase the amount of meals. Like right now we're set to keep nine meals on hand. I could increase that. Try making the squares around the windmill rice farms. That will keep uh, anything else from coming back too, huh? Turkey. Turkeys would produce eggs. I don't have anything for that. <laughs> I don't have anything for that. It's average fertility ground. It's not like terrible. Well, new pet singular. Who bled all over the floor? Oh, probably Sarah. That was probably Sarah when she came back hurt. We really need to prioritize this door. Yeah, but would they track the blood all the way out here from the butcher table? I mean, that's what this blood is, but this feels far away for that. Okay, pie. After you eat, you really need to carve this door out of the wall because it's a little problematic that it's not there yet. Okay, pie. Make the door. Yeah, I just need to select somebody. Uh, oh, it's from carrying the bodies through the house. It's the dough and the alpaca. So it was 
carrying the bodies through the house and then into the into the thing that makes sense Uh, to make pants. We don't have that. We have like leather. Kid pants. Kid rompers. Patch leather. What's a tail cap? Is it literally like a cap with the tail on it? Like a like the old raccoon caps? I think it is. Capes. Yeah, most of these take some type of cloth or wool. Not many things take leather. What is patch leather? Combines various types of leather to create weak patch leather. Oh, okay. Interesting. Let's see. Hay grass is seven days. Rice grows the fastest. Sarah's bringing a new body back. <laughs> well, at least you can get it on this side of the house now. There's lights in the place. So it's not so dark. Beetlejuice is getting hungry. Oh, he went and ate the body. Okay. He went and ate out of the freezer. I guess. Oh, I need a floor there. Uh, floors. There go. Alright, good. Hey, as long as he's fed and not gonna turn on me, we're good. Yeah, I did. Yep, we claimed this. I claimed it before I did this. Although I should set this as yours. you're all on the same schedule, but Sarah just goes to bed before everybody else. <laughs> I should probably build that fourth bedroom in case Rabbit and Sarah break up.
because that would get real awkward. <laughs> it would get really awkward if they broke up. They'd have to keep living together. I'm sorry, Rabbit. I don't mean I don't want to curse you, but... <laughs> Eight without a table? Why? You have space. <laughs> Got some lovin' times three. <laughs> That is funny. That is funny. Alright, Sarah's going to cook. Rabbit's doing rabid things. Taming the gazelle. Alright, that's fine. Pie's still sleeping. Christy's still sleeping. Beetlejuice is wandering around. <laughs> oh, welcome back, Russian. Did it go okay? You didn't see any hearts? They were there. I wasn't zoomed in super close, but that's why I checked because little hearts were happening. The little hearts were happening. I don't think this pen is really going to be big enough. And they are definitely not prioritizing hauling all of this rice inside. Because... Plant matter, foods, raw foods. Yeah, I mean, it's allowed on the shelves. But Sarah's like grabbing it and cooking with it, and then that's it. There should still be plenty of space. Russian, I'm sorry. Are you fertile at 58? Uh, I don't know. There was a way to see that. I thought it was under health, too. Oh, right. Maybe it's in here. Life stage. Fertility is 0%. <laughs> uh, so, no. Age factor times 0%. You are 0% fertile. <laughs> Chrissy's only 23. So like for reference, Rabbit's fertility is 84% due to his age. So yeah, if we have any kids, they're going to be from Christy, but Chrissy doesn't like anyone that way. Uh, every male colonist feels a wave of anxiety and anger. <clears throat> and it is summer. Yeah, okay, so we gotta start thinking about food. We've gotta think about food according to this, <laughs> which is fair. Um. And yeah, clothes. But I don't have any wool producing animals. Kind of wish I got in the yaks. So far, Rabbit has a 0% success rate on taming things. 
It's just not working out. We still haven't even tamed the turtle. Shouted a command at the gazelle. But your skills in animals is nine. Like, you've got a solid skill level in animals, so it's not a lack of skill. Do you think I need a fresh start? I mean, we haven't gone down in flames yet. <laughs> Nothing's gone down in flames. <laughs> Uh, he hasn't succeeded with the turtle or the gazelle. I want him to focus on the gazelle because then I would have a breeding pair of gazelles. So gazelle is kind of my priority for him. Botched construction. The point of this playthrough is all this like weird anomaly stuff that we're kind of stalled out on. Not having them have babies. So it's fine. It's fine. I don't know if what effect animal size has on their tame ability. Like, turtles are small. So is it somehow related to... Turtles? Um, so we're going to want to stockpile... is only going to be four. I'm only going to store rice there, but it's going to be critical priority, so there will always be rice there. And the gazelles can eat rice, right? Hey, the gazelle's in the pen. Oh, the pen's not finished. It's not finished. Animal wildness, that makes sense. Yeah, because we always had alpacas and horses. There are alpacas up here. Both females. That's a bummer. But we could get wool from them, I bet. How's Beetle just doing? Actually, we're at uh, we're at three fifteen, and it is a school night because, as much as I wish it was Friday night as well, it is not. <laughs> it is Thursday. Um, so we are going to call it here. It's a slower start than I expected, honestly. I mean, that's probably because of my choices um, of doing like this difficulty level and this storyteller, which is kind of like the, the not terrible one. We had the initial attack of that like weird thing, but then we built a containment cell and we haven't had anything else come. So this was tame compared to what I was expecting. Having a ghoul is a pain in the butt. That's my real takeaway. <laughs> it's a it's a pain in the butt. Um, but we'll definitely be back. I think we're going to keep going with this playthrough. There's definitely things I could have done better, but it, no one's died. It hasn't gone down in complete flames. So we're going to stick with it and we're going to see if we can uh, get something exciting to happen. Because, um, yeah, I'm sure it's going to get bad. Here I am saying like, oh, it's not bad yet. 
I don't have defensive walls. I don't have, I've only got two people that can even fight. Like things are gonna get, things are gonna get bad. So I shouldn't jinx myself with the RimWorld thing. Uh, but yeah, we're going to call us here. We'll be back to it next week. I'm not 100% sure which day, so that will be on the Discord while I plan my schedule. Um, I do plan that in advance and put it in the event section. Um, otherwise, the streams get put on YouTube on the day of. So if you enjoyed tonight's stream and you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one. And until then, have a good one, everybody.